What if you can have your cake and eat it too? Is that a possibility you have ever considered? Because most of us don't. Because we are full of the message that uh, we shouldn't be wanting more than is reasonable and we can't have it all and we can't get the best of both worlds and all these things, but why not? I mean, this entire thinking is built on uh, you win, I lose, I win, you lose thinking and scarcity mindset and that's just BS, right? So we all have this super clear idea of what it costs us uh, to make certain decisions and life choices, right? So my story for the longest time has been that I want to be my own boss so badly I have to give up on the idea of financial stability. And your story may be, uh, I want to spend a lot of time with my kids so I cannot be a successful entrepreneur. Or I have to follow a certain career path to uh, be proud of the, my life. It can be anything, pretty much. But uh, these things are often very deeply ingrained in us, and so they make so much sense when we believe them. But the trick is we don't have to believe them. Huh? They are simply stories. And granted, we see them all around us, and because that's what confirmation bias does to us. Huh? If I believe a certain story, I will see proof of that story just about anywhere out there. Um, but, as I just said, you do not have to buy into those stories. You can believe something else. You can choose to believe something else and create it. It is really up to you. So let me give you one example um, from the time when I was still a smoker. So the big story probably still is, but, uh, well, it's been so long that <laughs> I've been surrounded by, by smokers. But um, the big story is was back then, uh, if you quit smoking, you'll gain weight. And that was kind of like a, a cause and effect thing. So, yeah, you want to you wanna be healthy, but that means you're going up a dress size or two. That was definitely the cost that quitting would come with. It was just, it sounded like a fact. But... Uh, so I was so freaked out that for the longest time that was part of my excuse repertoire why I didn't quit smoking because, oh no, I'm not gaining weight. Mm -hmm. So eventually, when I was so fed up with smoking and actually had uh, just like really knew that I absolutely wanted to quit, I did some reading, just like the, what's, this, what's the science, what is the evidence behind this? And it is totally not unavoidable to to gain weight while you quit smoking. It's just the behavioral, uh, if, you, if you watch your behavior, it's totally doable to not gain weight. So that's what all the, the actual evidence said. So I decided not only I would quit smoking and not gain weight, I decided that I would actually lose weight because I had a couple of pounds to lose at that time. And everybody told me, it's like, oh, you're so crazy. I mean, you're going through this hard thing, quitting smoking, and then you'll put losing weight on top of that. And that's the next story, the hard thing of quitting smoking. And again, uh, for me, what helps me a lot is just looking into the science and actually on a physical level, you are clean from smoking very, very quickly, a couple of days. And I'm like, okay, so it's all in my mind. And then I decide, okay, so that's another story I don't have to buy in. And my mantra became... Uh, Quitting smoking will be easy for me, and I'm losing weight at the same time. And that's exactly what I did. I quit smoking. I lost 10 pounds at the same time. Uh, I was mindful, but I made a decision, and that, that's really what it was about. I made a deliberate choice. I got some background information. I did my homework, so I knew what to do and what not to do. And the moment I stuck with it, it worked. Hmm? So that's something, uh, that's a story I'm repeating probably as much for myself as for you because that shows me I can do it. We can do the same thing for the life we most desire. I can be my own boss and have financial security. You can be a great mother and a successful entrepreneur. 
You can be proud of your life without being an engineer or a doctor or a lawyer. Whatever you came to mind for you, you can create that. And because quite honestly, the best cake is really the one we can have and eat too, right? So let's go for it. Bye, love.